I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, November 6th to Monday, November 13th, 2017. Now, what's going on this week, Libra, is actually, I think, a lot of the same stuff, to be honest, that's been going on last week and the week before, and just some old stuff still going on, and I think we're trying to break through this week uh, to come into new territories and to see things in different ways so that we can move forward, okay? I think for you, a lot of this stuff is going to have to do where Saturn is uh, for you and your third house of talk and of communication. Okay, I think you're really trying to just think about your life, uh, think about where it's going, um, think about just a bunch of things that are going on and maybe even what you believe about life and communicating with other people about those things too. Okay, I think a lot of this communication also has to do where Chiron is for you too in your sixth house of your job and of your daily routines with Saturn here and a square to Chiron. Okay, so maybe you're just trying to figure out how you can organize your life better. Maybe you're thinking about it inside, you know, your own self, how you can have the job you want, how you can have the life you want. Maybe you're also communicating with other people too about your job, about your daily routines, and about those things that are important to you or that it is that you need. Um, all right, sixth house also rules health. So perhaps some communication or some thinking about your health too and how you can have a better health routine or health regimen or something like that is also coming in there too for you. Okay, I think that could be a little bit uncomfortable because Chiron does bring up some hurt feelings. So maybe you're communicating about your job or your daily routines and it just doesn't feel right. Okay, and you don't wanna communicate. You're worried that your job isn't gonna resonate with you and things like that. I think that could be coming up. But I think really needing to push through some of the hard feelings here about your job and about your daily routine routines as you're talking about it so that you can have some breakthroughs here where Uranus is in your seventh house of partnerships and of other people, okay? With Uranus making a trine over to Saturn in your third house of communication, okay? So maybe you're having a lot of hard conversations about your job, about what you want your day-to-day -to, -day to look like, about your health and things like that, but I think if you can push through it, there's gonna be all these uncomfortable feelings and uncomfortable thoughts. I think there's gonna be an opportunity for you to have the relationships that you want to have, to sign some contracts that you want as well, since the seventh house also rules contracts, um, and to move forward in that direction. Okay, so that's what I see going on there. While that's happening, there's also still a bunch of focus where Scorpio is for you in your second house of money, okay, of your finances, of your income, if you can read that there, <laughs> uh, of your confidence, of your gifts and skills and talents. I think you're still trying to think about a lot of that stuff, okay? The reason why I say that is because Mercury, which is now in Sagittarius, was just through this spot, okay, and where Scorpio is, and now Venus entered Scorpio. So Venus and the Sun are gonna have a lot of the same aspects that Mercury already did the past month here coming through where I think we're still trying to tie up some loose ends in regards or you are in regards to many gifts and talents skills and confidence okay as Venus and the Sun continue moving through this spot all right Venus is going to conjunct Jupiter uh, this week in your second house of money so I think again lots of stuff coming up trying to figure out what you need to be comfortable financially what kind of gifts and talents are important to you and skills that you have that you really need to express uh, that you want to move forward on and then just building more confidence into your life trying to figure out what will make you comfortable financially uh, and internally when it comes to your gifts and skills and talents maybe also working with other people as well because Venus rules relationships to figure out some financial stuff that it is that you need to and to work with other people to use more of your gifts and skills and talents so I think you're thinking about that as well and trying to expand that part of your life when it comes to money and when it comes to finances okay I think if you can do that and I think if you can work on the money here okay so that you're not just communicating about your job and trying to work with other people um, okay to move forward but that you're really building on it in a stable way that you're getting money and income from it and that you're feeling more confident on it I think if you can focus on the money aspect in addition to all these conversations that you're having with others about your job too I think it's really gonna help you here where Pluto is to open up some more doors in your fourth house of home and of family okay so if you can Focus on the money and the confidence and using your gifts and skills and talents and getting the income with with the sun making a sextile over to Pluto. It's going to help you to have a better home life, to build more of that stability in life that you want and to feel more comfortable emotionally perhaps than you have before or than you have in the past, okay? But just needing to work some issues out there and focus on your financial uh, and, and your confidence and those kind of things and on some of your gifts and talents will be key, okay? Focusing on that part of your life is also going to help you here where the North Node is in your 11th house of your goals and your dreams, hopes and dreams for the future too. 
um, to really move forward on some of those things because we do have the North Node and a square with the Sun uh, in your second house of money. Now it may take some effort, maybe as you're trying to really build that financial stability into your life and just the emotional stability with the fourth house coming in, you may have to make a little extra effort to figure out how does all of this work with my goals and how does all of this integrate into my future and the future that I see for myself and the future that I want. But I think if you can focus on the income part and the confidence, it's gonna make that a lot easier for you to figure out, okay, I need to go I need to go in whatever direction is gonna make me feel confident. It uses more of your gifts and skills and talents. I need to go in whatever direction is gonna give me the money that it is that I need. And I think those are some kind of questions that you're really trying to figure out and think about um, this week as you're having some of these conversations with other people about your job and about your daily routines. Okay, and I know I keep saying this over and over, but I think focusing on money and on confidence is really going to help you here to have these hard conversations maybe with people and to build something that's important to you and can begin to put your life in the right direction. Okay, so that is what is going on there. While that's going on, we also do have Mercury here in your third house of communication, making a square over to Neptune in your job. So not just enough to have conversations with other people <clears throat> about what's going on here and to talk about money and to figure out how you can bring more stability in your life. But I think you're really going to have to work some things out here with your job as you're communicating to bring some of these things together here uh, to communicate about your job, to make some decisions perhaps about your job as well and figure out sure how you can communicate about these things, but how you can put them into maybe a little bit of an actionable plan as well and begin to make sense of your job and your daily routines too as you move forward so that it's not bothering you as much as it has been. Okay, so that's what I've got going on there. As that's happening, we also have the moon here in this part of your chart, which is gonna be in your ninth house of something new, in your 10th house of your career. So lots of thoughts too on something new that you need to do to put your life in the right direction, okay? I think you're thinking about that. You're trying to work some of this stuff out emotionally, not just thinking about your job and how other people can help you to build more of that stability into your life that you want and need, but also how you can rearrange this and put this in, in regards to the big picture and do something Something new or different perhaps to put your life in the direction that it is that you want okay so a lot of that stuff going on there now your card for the week Libra is the Queen of Cups. I actually really like this card. This card is to me a card of emotional fulfillment <laughs> uh, happening here. Lots of emotional stuff going on, um, having more control over your emotions, but because it's a queen, understanding your emotions a little bit better as well. And I think you're gonna have an opportunity to do that this week if you focus on building more of that stability in your life and communicating with other people about some of your needs. I think that's gonna happen. If you feel like it's not happening for you and your emotions all over, all are are all over, maybe figure out what you need emotionally to feel more comfortable and to focus inside on what your heart needs, okay, in order to put your life in the right place. And I think that's going to help you uh, move forward to figure out some things that may be on your mind this week, okay? So that's what I've got for you, Libra. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please do like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.